Well, we're really happy to get this book to review. This is the Ecological and Behavioral Methods for the Study of Bats. Kunz and Parson, Johns Hopkins University, 2009. Bats are one of those wonderful animals that we hear all kinds of rumors about. Here's the book. And, of course, when I was a child, they were supposed to come down the chimneys and they were supposed to get in your hair. And We had an old church next door to our house and... Uh, I think a few bats would fly out of that steeple and come in the windows in the summer, but who knows. Anyway, this book and all of its editions has received high praise as a staple research vehicle for libraries and researchers. It's well rated on techniques of study for professionals as well as amateurs. I was interested particularly in the fact that it has information on water and water resources for animals. We wanted to add it to our collection because that's our specialty. Uh, we looked at, at uh, how animals get water. Uh, there were, uh, there's a section in here where they specifically talked about how bats get water. And uh, we were surprised uh, to see that that they really don't have much of an idea about how they do it and uh, as a matter of fact uh, there's very little way to measure it. Uh, they uh, do think like in a lot of animals that they get their water mostly through eating and uh, watery uh, food and vegetables and so forth. So uh, they want to discuss uh, ways that they can better measure the intake of vegetation and that's how they study it. There was also a lot in here about precautions with regard to cave gases, which is something new for me, viruses, and of course the rabies infection that the bats get the, the rap for. So uh, this is worthwhile. It's big, but if you're into it, into nat naturalism, uh, this is something to really have on your, on your desk. So think about it. And certainly recommend it to your local library.